picking up where we left off last week, we're sailing to a beautiful anchorage here in the British Virgin Islands, where it's time to work hard and reward ourselves with playing even harder. It's going to be a really fun day. We have something exciting going on at nighttime, but before we go and do that, we have to do one of our most dreaded jobs, which is cleaning the bottom of Gypsy because she is due for a scrub. You boaters out there, if you've ever kept your boat full time in the water, you know the struggles of the growth on the bottom of the boat. We all put anti-foul paint on the bottom of our boat, which is what helps prevent growth and allows our boat to keep sailing or moving nice and smooth through the water. But in the Caribbean, the growth is, it's kind of excelled a bit in the warmer climates. We sat somewhere for a month in, uh, in St. Mark before we came here and our boat is like a knot slower. It's so much slower and I can just feel it. We don't even have that much growth on the bottom. It's more like a, a slimy algae with a bit of barnacles, but just a little amount will slow your boat down. We're always having to go down and, and scrape away, rub away. It is a marathon if you're doing this by holding your breath. If you have to change an anode or grease the prop or anything underwater, it's quite difficult when you're trying to do it with one single breath because when you're trying to unscrew something, you know, you're just not gonna get it all in one bit. So we're definitely excited about this new toy we have because I think it's gonna make this experience a lot more fun and not feel like it's such a daunting task now. And we're definitely thanking the Dive Blue Nomad. It is an electric dive compressor that sits on top of the water, it comes with a 30 foot long hose. So as long as you have that thing floating, you can dive straight down 30 feet and breathe no problem. So this thing looks pretty neat. Comes in a nice, little compact little machine there. Comes with a big old battery. Takes, I think, three hours to fully charge from dead. And it says you get about 60 minutes with that battery. This will help the job go much faster, but it's not gonna help all the little critters that come off the bottom of the boat. Just to make it a little easier and hopefully quicker so I can be in and out. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. This thing's awesome. The Dive Blue Nomad is a complete game changer when it comes to this dirty job. It delivers compressed air from the surface as we breathe underwater. We normally do wear a hood and more clothing to protect ourselves from little bugs that come shedding off with the growth, but we just got too excited so we jumped right in. Blue has an online dive training course and a fitness to dive evaluation that you can complete online prior to using the Nomad to ensure that you're doing so safely. But overall, it's very user friendly and we both got the hang of it right away. It actually made cleaning the bottom fun and more relaxing. We would definitely recommend this for all boat owners or people who simply want to explore underwater a little longer than on one single breath. We've got a link we'll pop in the description of this video for you to check it out for yourself. We have special visitors. Stop by to say hi. This oh. is Sandra and Dave. I can't see. And you'll recognize them Hello. on the first <laughs> name on our list that comes yes. down. These are our first patrons from Ontario. And I remember chatting with them when they were still in Toronto. And now they're here with us in the BVIs, which is yes. awesome. Finally. Yeah. Many, many times we've communicated and oh. came around the corner and here you are. And they're part yeah. of the Hunter fam. Part yes. of the Hunter fam. Yeah. 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 Inspired by you guys. Yeah. That is so awesome, so awesome. when we get to meet <laughs> anybody that watches us, patrons especially. Like that's just amazing to get to meet you guys in person. <laughs> so far yeah, from home. It's, yeah. It's, it's neat to be here at our favorite spot. Yeah. Well, Virgin just, Island. Yeah. Oh, and you guys have done so much. It's impressive. <laughs> Oh yeah, just to, when you when you first started with the YouTube and you did your little yep. um, opening of oh get all far to the Bahamas and now it's like Atlantic back and Atlantic <laughs> back. Yeah, that's impressive for yes. people who hadn't anchored when they left the dock. In yeah. <laughs> Dumping all out all yeah. the chain at once. Yes. Remember that? Yeah. yeah. After the pleasant surprise visit, we're heading over to Saba Rock with our friend Lauren. Saba Rock is a popular place to hang out with a really chill atmosphere. My personal favorite are the bean bags and giant Jenga. We're secretly having a competition with the table behind us to build the highest tower. When they catch on, competition gets fierce. We were close, but they won.
<laughs> We're making our way to a nearby beach for Travis's belated birthday dinner. Every Friday, there's a beach barbecue buffet here at Leverick Bay. The selection of food is drool-worthy. We're particularly excited about this meal because our barbecue on board is no longer working, and it's our opportunity to eat our hearts out. Dinner was excellent and we're completely stuffed. One of the best barbecues we've had, actually. There's an opportunity to burn it all off afterwards. Lots of fun music, and the dance floor opens up. Then comes the live entertainment. It's a pleasure to be here for everybody tonight. Thank you, thank you. Okay, we gotta get started. I said we got some dancers tonight. Never did we imagine we'd get to try our hand at fire dancing. Such a cool experience and a memorable night to say the least. behind our anchorage and tonight is going to be really fun. We're going to be having a bonfire here. We kind of sussed out this spot yesterday and it's the perfect spot for a beach fire. There's already a little fire pit there, some wood for benches. And check out, this is totally not planned but we are fully matching today. Again. <laughs> What, to match? Yeah. And he hates like, it. I think every, every girl's favorite is to get matchy with their, their partner. No, okay. It just inadvertently happens all the time. But you know what they say, like couples, after they've been together long enough, they start dressing alike. And it's, it's a real thing. Real thing. We're gonna have some friends join us, so it's gonna be a great time. Our friends Kendra, Carson, and Lauren join us at the beach to help set up and gather some firewood in preparation for the big night. We've got the long burn wood over here. We've got the starter wood there already. We're gonna make this the ultimate beach bonfire. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I combed the whole beach seen what kind of building supplies that I uh, come up with, which is a two by four and a couple straight planks. This thing was already here, which obviously makes a good bench already, but you got to just kick your feet back sometimes. So you I got to make it, it extra cute. Yeah, you got to make it look like it's something. So I'm going to work on this, see what I can come up with, with what we got. And did you see over there, there's actually already a bottle opener. So it's the perfect spot. And then there are a bunch of hermit crabs in there. So we're going to do some hermit crab races later as well. It's going to be really fun. Yeah, been craving a beach fire for a while. And now we got a good group of people. Good spot. Good spot. It's going to be epic. I think I'm going to head back to Egypt to go leave Travis to do his thing. Maybe a star. Well, I got to go get some lunch, so. Yeah, I'll be. Well, are you just going to go back and get lunch and come back, or are you just going to just go and stay? And I'll have to do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm uploading a video right now. So, yeah, wave your arms if you need immediate help. <laughs> well, <laughs> Feed me! Stay an hour. Just look at an hour, and then... Yeah, I'll be much more useful on the boat right now than over here. Where I know you just want to get in the zone and do your thing. Yeah, just get into my little groove.
I done? No. Not even close. This is insane. Oh, I love this. Before the big reveal, we're heading back to Gypsy to gather all of the supplies we'll need for the fire. All right, it's just about sunset time. We're going to head over to the beach. We actually re-anchored ourselves a little bit closer. We're pretty close to shore now. And soon enough, we're going to get to see Travis's creation that he worked all afternoon on. We've got a bag of stuff, snacks, drinks, fun stuff. Travis did such a good job. I knew he would. This is his thing and he has such fun doing it. The attention to detail is really good. So it just makes it so much cuter. The vibe's just gonna be that much better when all our friends get here. I'm very excited for them to see what he created. Before it gets too dark, we'll show you close-ups of all of the little things that he built. Kind of starts at this palette over here. All the way around back here. That's so cute. I love it. You did such a good job. Oh, by the way, if you don't know what this is. It's a garden. No. Oh. This is a hermit crab race. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's got to put their hermit crab in. They got obstacles. Oh, okay, yeah. That wooden box right there is the finish okay, line. Okay, see, I thought we were just going to do the whole draw circle in the sand thing, but this is next level. Ah. Next freaking <laughs> level. That is such a good idea. Sandra and Dave here again with us. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Lauren just Thanks. arrived. Oh, you see. <laughs> yes. Lights got flat and started working. That's oh, fun. Oh, Dinner was good, yeah. 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 And <sighs> After a nice hard day, enjoy a beer on the couch. Oh, you got this. Oh, <laughs> okay. Clam Shack finally here. Kendra and Carson. Hello. There's all the guys. Okay, everybody's got to find what their hermit crab. Oh, I, I, I feel like they all need to be the same size. Oh, then yeah. Travis totally has. I know, he to... can't have that. <laughs> Is there a medium size one back there, Carson? Yeah, we got a medium. I'll take a medium, please. <laughs> they're just so, they're so big. Sorry, dude. You want a small? I like the small one. Yeah, sure. Me. I got a little baby one. He's going to be a little speedy here. I'm in there with these guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God, he's so small. All right, guys, come to the water for the race. We got the race. Grab your buddy. Oh, yeah, they're all ready. I don't know which one, but I'll take one of the small ones. Well, I think it's just time to shine right now. Okay. All right, guys. Oh. Everybody, wait. Take care, Hermit. <laughs> this is not fair. Right. Everyone, keep your eye on yours. All right. Okay. No. Go. What did we win? Ready, set, go. Uh, you win a oh, shot. Oh, Lauren, Lauren did the right. top oh. Who's oh. that one? That's oh. Lauren. Oh, yeah. You're just dead. Bruno. He's not even awake enough. My guy's not even awake enough. Oh, go, Bruno. Go, Brass. Come on, Speedy. Anything's possible. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
Mine's going out. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine's running. My now. dad's checking on your Oh, look at my guy. On, He's going on. over. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on, Bruno. Shit. Oh. Come on, dude. Go. Oh. Oh, man. My guy knows where to go. Oh, look at your guy go. He's out of here. He's like, I'm going Mine's home. Just it's a photo finish. Oh, he's gonna oh. put his hand right on his oh, face. Oh, oh, come on, oh, come oh, on. Oh, 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 oh. Travis really knocked it out of the park with building the most epic beach bonfire setup. We had such a fun time, and these are really the highlights of cruising life. Great times with even better company. If you enjoyed joining along this week, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment below. Oh, and make sure you're subscribed because you're not going to want to miss next week's episode. We're sailing to one last jaw-dropping beauty of a place here in the BVIs. We'll see you next Sunday.